These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Pimpy article quote, the price of a barrel of Brent crude oil reaches $62.34. Seems like it's going up about a buck or so every couple weeks. This is good. Keep on going up. I know we want Iraq to rely on something else other than oil, but it sure would be nice if they got a lot of revenue higher than monies. I'm, I'm sorry, higher than what they budgeted for. This can help them really start taking a lot of these monies so they can start developing and reconstructing Iraq, provide jobs to the public. This is what we're looking for as there's more jobs that are available then the dinar becomes stronger. Jeff, a uh, question, is there any news we should be aware of? Is anything major happening that's critical? Uh, the answer is you're seeing the last final step right before your eyes. It's the 21 budget. I've already told you when their fiscal is. Their fiscal year starts April 1st. I know that for a fact because I've reached out and consulted with the Iraqi government. That's where we're at. The 21 budget is the last step before the rate change. Iraq is very clearly walking in Kuwait's footsteps. All right, Mountain Goat, uh, remember this year the Kuwait compensation will be all paid up and completed. This frees Iraq from any wartime debt owed. All right, Jeff, question, who should we be listening to? The only group you should be listening to is the CBI. The CBI has put out many articles when they said they're going to delete the zeros, meaning change the rate, at the beginning of a new budget fiscal period. That's exactly why I keep throwing you clues that Iraq is walking in Kuwait's footsteps. What did Kuwait do? Kuwait changed their rate on March 24th of 91. Why? Because Kuwait's fiscal year starts April 1st. Iraq is no different. When the CBI talks, those are the only ones you really need to listen to. All right, Militiaman, the recalculating assets, income streams from oil, border crossings, tourism, fresh new liquid, natural gas income from halting, it's flaring agriculture, mineral extraction, etc. all play a role in the valuation process of the country and her currency. The budget needs the rate, not the other way around. All right, Jeff, uh, December 20th is when they officially started the reforms by devaluing the currency. Why did Iraq devalue the currency? That was a directive and a requirement by the IMF and the World Bank to reduce a, the three zero note count in the country of Iraq so the citizens don't get rich. It was a 90 day tool. That's why they started it on December 20th. Add 90 days to a Sunday and you got your rate change day. All right, Mark Z says we're seeing the 2021 budget coming out of Iraq. They have to have a value for it and it has to be in effect by April 1st. No new value in Iraq over the weekend like I thought there might be, but there are articles out now about deleting the three zeros to raise the value of the dinar and the de-dollarization of their economy and that they would be competing internationally. I believe we're close and have been waiting for this. I'm looking for things to take off at breakneck speed now. When we think things are not happening, there are a lot of things happening in the background. All right, lastly, Frank 26 article quote, is there a threat to hard currency reserves? The central bank explains, unquote. All right, they're telling you they not only have enough to back up their hard currency, but also their digital currency. They're trying to tell you they have a new exchange rate. It's right in front of your eyes.